$6.5 million. Six million and five hundred thousand goddamn dollars for an aircraft that even though is more agile than the Hydra and is an amazing aerial combat vehicle, you cannot add flares, you cannot add armor, you cannot add smoke screens, you cannot add engine handling upgrades, no bombs, no unique mods, the only real upgrades you can add is a fucking paint job. For a jet that is smaller, more agile, more weaker, slower, and has been in GTA 5 even before the most popular jet used by fans and griefers alike returned. Good job, Rockstar. Good job. Hey people of YouTube, my name is NFS Beast, and today I want to talk with all of you people out there, the GTA fans whom are mature enough to play this game, about that jet airplane vehicle we all used to love stealing off Fort Zancudo, the laser, and how retarded Rockstar went, and also testing my patience to begin with. So the story so far. A fighter jet that can give the Hydra a run for its money was finally released to the public for the first time since... Well, GTA 5 came out in 2013, and apparently, people are enraged with the lack of any upgrades like the flares, armor, bombs, or even goddamn liveries. Everywhere I go, in the comment section about the laser being released, people are saying some really logical things, despite the clear anger coming out of those comments. And I agree with them. What I don't understand is that GTA San Andreas had jets with flares added to them, but you cannot even add flares to the Hydra or to the laser in GTA Online. To all you guys saying, fuck you, buy the Pyro, Molotov, or Starling, just shut your goddamn mouth up. Those jets are obviously not the topic for this video. Look at their price, and look at the lasers. 6.5 million dollars is a hella amount, and with the inflation of prices going up, and cash payouts being utterly horrible, I'll let you be the one to search that up, is buying an aircraft, although beautiful, modern, and a great fighter, but with no upgrades, no protection, and no chances to make it truly your own, I'm talking about liveries and unique mods. Is it even worth it? Hell, my rogue and Hydra would make the laser their bitch. I'm not- I'm not kidding. The only people dumb enough to buy a laser and not steal it off a military base are those same bastards who throw their money at Take-Two Interactive. You know, the little kids, griefers, and tryhards. You see, I am done with this nonsense. First the Karen Technical Custom, then the retarded research, then the so-called anti-aircraft trailer, now an overpriced jet that is worse than the Hydra and has no customization. It has- it was in the game since day one. It also has no VTOL and even though it's more agile, you have to remember that this jet came out before the Hydra in GTA 5. Does Rockstar even know that we the people are requesting a street racing DLC, not military themed? Do they know that GTA is becoming stale? As long as you feed these cunts, they'll spew bullshit. You're also gonna probably say, but this version of the laser is special! I will ask you, how? Did you see Gypsy's video? No need for your stupid defense here. To know that Rockstar and Take-Two have become so greedy to market 4 year old content and overprice it just so that little kids with their daddy's wallets can buy the shark cards in order to purchase this vehicle to possibly waste more of your money so you can buy shark cards for the next DLC is just disgusting. All you can do with this 6.5 million dollars thrown down the drain is a color change that costs extra. You would obviously be the world's most stupid retard if you fell for the scumbag trick. Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive are now becoming like EA, money-hungry companies that practice shady and scummy methods. To see that Mr. Brokey is spending all his time and research on a game that highly undelivers and is made by a game company that once actually cared about quality of their games is just sad. To see that icons in gaming, GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, and GTA 4 are created by the same company that now only caters to the little kids constantly buying their shark cards is just sickening. To simply put it, I think GTA Online is my last GTA ever, and I sure as hell am glad that I will not buy Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh yeah, 
Take Two's hunger for money makes me glad Midnight Club won't come back. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. This is the harsh reality. That straw sell naked dipshit has said that microtransactions are going to be in all of their games. That's just nonsense. Money hungry whores. So yeah, I give a shout out to Mr. Brohe1332, I think his name is. Yeah, he's a really cool YouTuber. And I am really sorry. And I I I had the deepest regards for him. Because seeing a fellow YouTuber who is well is really popular, really truthful, really smart and intelligent, have to waste all his time on a game that now is made so that they can sell as many shark cards as possible it's just sad you know it's just just sad he should try need for speed payback i'm being honest he should it's awesome but i have a i i question the future of rockstar games i question their future i really do and you might want to ask yourselves in this current state that that take two interactive is and how they say that microtransactions are in their future. Would you want a new Midnight Club with microtransactions that are possibly in the single story mode and the online mode? Would you want that? I guess not. Microtransactions are just the scum of this earth. The scum the scum of this day and age, this generation, and I wish they could go away forever. PS2 games were so fun because they didn't have microtransactions. I first did not have a problem with sh shark cards, but now, this is the final straw. It is. You people really need to open your eyes. And I'm talking to you, little kids, little griefers, little tryhards. I'm talking to you. But anyways, my name is NFS Beast, and... Thanks for watching this video. If you leave a like, that would be truly appreciated. And if you enjoy my content and want to help me out in becoming a big YouTuber, please subscribe. It really helps out. And if you like an anime and Need for Speed videos, also subscribe. It truly helps out. Take care everyone.